Hello and greetings my fine friends. Welcome to the latest issue of the Outdoor Gear Review. And today we're doing a review of a fantastic ultralight stove that uh, may fit very well into your kit. Uh, it certainly fits well into mine. Um, this is the Ruckus. And this is an alcohol stove. Check that thing out. Ultralight. This is 1.24 ounces ultralight. Um, it's absolutely awesome. I'm going to be doing a, uh, a two cup water boil for you guys and I'll show you guys how to use it um, and I'll tell you some facts about it as we go along. Might as well grab some coffee and let's get started guys. Okay my friends, so we have the ruckus and you guys may be asking what on earth is the ruckus? And let me tell you, this is an ultralight solution. Um, this is an alcohol stove, denatured alcohol, or you can use heat. And Ruckus stands for Repurposed Ultralight Compact Alcohol Stove. And you can see the burners here all the way around. Um, a couple months ago, I was on YouTube, and I was just doing a search. I was just watching some videos, kind of hopping from one to the next. You know how you sometimes chain link them. Anyway, I, I came across this video from this guy who seemed pretty funny. I, I'm guessing he's the uh, maker of the stove. And um, the video was pretty good. You should do a search for it. It's just R-U-C-A-S, stove. Something like that. You'll find it. And uh, the guy's a hoot. And he's talking about how this can can support his fat ass of 240 pounds or something. And... He said something along the lines of squeezing the piss out of this bottle. I don't know. You'll have to watch it. It's pretty funny. Excuse my bad language, whatever. But um, anyway, so I decided to check out his store on eBay and order this up, and I am glad I did. Uh, this is a fantastic little stove. I could not be more happy with it. Um, I do have other alcohol stoves, and this is by far definitely one of my favorites. Um, it's, it's cool, and it's called the Ruckus, which... Pretty funny, good name. So, and basically, what we're going to do here today is I'm going to fire this up and um, we're going to boil two cups of water. And while that's going on, I'm going to tell you guys about it, give you guys the specs and uh, the rundown. Um, it's a sweet little stove, it's pretty cool. Very good craftsmanship on it. I really do like it. Uh, it weighs absolutely nothing, like I said before. This is uh, 1.24 ounces, 2.6 inches wide. It's only 2.375 inches tall. Um, this is about, say if you were to compare this to a soda can alcohol stove that you made yourself, this is about a quarter inch larger. And it's four times as thick. Uh, you're talking about a serious difference if you've ever made one before. Uh, they're pretty flimsy. Uh, this is extremely solid, extremely stable. Um, it's very, very nice. So, I'm going to grab some water and uh, we shall get moving along here. All right. Okay. We've got our two cups of water here. We've got one cup of coffee for me. You might want some too. Um, let's see, we have our little ruckus stove. We have our bottle of denatured alcohol. Uh, this is a Varco bottle. It does come with the stove itself. And um, if you order one, basically what you will get in your package is the Varco bottle. Uh, leak proof. This is a really good bottle, by the way. I'm glad they included this. Uh, there is a windscreen. Uh, you can make your own and buy one. But you get the bottle, the stove, and you actually get some color directions. And I tell you what, that's pretty nice. Um, especially compared to some other stoves that I've gotten recently that have no instructions. Um, I'm sure you appreciate that as much as I do. Okay, so basically with this stove, um, it does have a four ounce fuel capacity. Um, that would last you forever if you filled this thing up. Um, normally, in my testing, about two ounces uh, provided about 15 to 18 minutes worth of burn time. Um, one ounce of fuel in this, and from my calculations, um, it would uh, boil um, three cups of water, and I think three cups is about 24 ounces. So, very, very efficient little stove. We'll go ahead and, go ahead and put some in here. Okay. 
You know, and you don't have to worry about overfilling this because it's so easy. Let's see, we got about a half ounce in there. There we go. Yeah, there we go. We've got an ounce of fluid in there. We'll put that out of the way so we don't burn the house to the ground. But um, it's very easy to blow this thing out whenever you're done. And then you just let it cool and you can easily just kind of tilt it to the side and pour the remaining of the fluid back into the bottle. Um, let's see, I'm ill prepared here. I need to get a lighter. Okay, we have our lighter in check here and we'll go ahead and move everything out of the way. I'm sure the wife wouldn't be pleased if I burnt the house to the ground. I'm gonna get a sip of coffee. You might want some too. Mm. All right, so basically what we're gonna do now. Okay, the flame is lit. Let me turn the lights off. Maybe you guys can see that burning. And this is a self-priming stove, which is pretty slick. And we're just going to let that sit there and do its thing until it's ready to go. Um, once the flame blooms out, then it's ready to rock and roll and you're ready to start heating up your goods. But um, this is a very slick stove, guys. Um, it's made from a uh, repurposed beverage, beverage bottle. Um, it's aluminum. It's incredibly strong. Uh, you can stand on this, and it'll support over 200 pounds of weight. So you don't have to worry about being too uh, delicate with it, you know, especially compared to some other alcohol stoves. Uh, you definitely wouldn't want to do that. Um, but it's very very solid very strong um, there are no moving parts there are no welds no rivets um, it's self priming like I said extremely simple to use it's light weight ultra lightweight well, 1.2 ounces you can't top that guys you guys probably can't hear this ah look haha -ha. the alcohol is it's now getting primed up the alcohol is boiling Beautiful guys. Let me zoom out here for you. And guess what? We are ready to put our water on. Very good a bit of heat coming off of this. Okay. Make sure we got that centered, and we do. Very, very nice. And it is heating away here. We're gonna do a rough count. Okay. Our little timer is going, so uh, we'll keep track of this. You guys may recognize uh, the cup here from the, uh, the Primus cooking set. Love it. Man, it is great. Um, this little stove uses denatured alcohol or a product that's called heat. Um, I personally just use denat denatured alcohol. I've used that for all my other stoves as well. Um, usually I buy it a couple gallons at a time. You can get it dirt cheap. Um, usually I don't spend more than $20 for like five gallons of the stuff. So just look around locally and see what you can find. Um, already with our water we have some boils around the edge so it's going very quickly you can hear it's heating up of course the amount of fuel that you use will depend on your conditions uh, such as the wind elevation uh, whatnot hmm. Oh yeah, this thing is working very quickly, isn't it? Uh, so far, this is about two minutes in. I'll go ahead and turn the light off for you guys.
doing a really good job. I've got it centered fairly well, but you guys can check that out. That's about three minutes now, and we've achieved a boil. And that's uh, two cups of water. And that's in pristine conditions, of course. There's no breeze other than me walking around and my me blowing on it, basically. But guys, how awesome is that? I'm going to go ahead and blow this out now. Very, very simple. Hey. Okay, my friends. Very nice stove, guys. That was no time at all. About three minutes of burn time. And like I said, uh, perfect conditions, no breeze, um, just able to focus all that heat right on to the, uh, the Primus cup there. Guys, this is one reason why I absolutely love this stove. It works very, very well. It's very efficient. And for $20, it's $20 to buy this. Shipping's $250. Um, of course, you get the stove. You get the alcohol bottle. You have to purchase your own uh, alcohol, but you can't beat that. Um, this is one of my favorite pieces of kit whenever I'm out and about. Um, of course, it really depends on the conditions on what type of stove I'm going to take. If it's too cold, sometimes I like taking this. If it's too windy, sometimes I'll take another stove. Um, of course, you'll have to decide what's right for you and what fits the conditions you're going to be in. The Ruckus stove gets our thumbs up approval. Um, it will certainly fit well into your kit. You can find this guy on eBay. Do a search for Ruckus Alcohol Stove. Alright my friends, thank you guys so much for joining us on this latest issue of the Outdoor Gear Review. We have taken a look at the fantastic Ruckus Alcohol Stove. Um, could not be more pleased with this product. Um, we've had this um, in testing for a couple months now, um, and it hasn't failed us one time. There's not one negative aspect to this stove. Um, if you're going to be using it outdoors, you'll want to consider using some sort of windscreen, of course. Um, you can either make your own, you can purchase them, purchase them online. Um, if you check this guy out on YouTube, do a search for the Ruckus stove. Um, he also has another video showing you how you can make a windscreen um, for a simple dollar. So, not too shabby, guys. But uh, thank you guys for joining us. Do take care, and we shall see you guys soon. Get some coffee.